Hi Libra and welcome to your general love reading for mid-June 2022. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra. It is general so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. But if you would like a personal reading you can find all that information in the description box. And do keep in mind that because this reading is general it also means that the roles can be reversed. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is going on with you for the second half of June 2022. All right, for the situation, we have the Four of Pentacles crossed by the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so two Pentacles cards starting off the reading. Okay, some of you might even be really focused on just the material world, possibly even work or money issues. I know this is a love reading, but that's the message that I'm getting here. Um, more specifically to love, though, I feel like there's a little bit of holding back. Um... Holding back from really, like, interacting much with this person it could be them it could be you um i it might even be the both of you but i feel like it it feels like you're there's a need for the two of you to work more like together as in compromising or in coming up with some solutions together but it feels like there might be some stubbornness on somebody's side uh let's see for you we have a judgment the Queen of Swords, and Justice. Wow, Libra. <laughs> wow. First of all, you have two cards here that are representative of your energy, all right, um, with the Queen of Swords and Justice. Maybe some of you are dealing with another Libra. Um, but it feels like there's like a major decision here that you're trying to make, and I feel like you're gaining more and more clarity um, as you go concerning what it is that you want to do here and which way you want to move. And this is like big time. First of all, this is a huge decision. Um, and secondly, you're getting huge clarity. It's like, you know, you know what you want to do. I feel like it's just a matter of actually doing it. Let's see for them. The Hermit, okay, so Virgo energy, the Four of Wands and the Four of Swords. Okay, so this person might be keeping a little bit to themselves, possibly self-isolating or just not being very communicative. I do get that they are um, going through their own process, especially in terms of commitment, stability, family, home, what it is that that they actually want or, you know, where it is that they might be, you know, um, harboring some issues or difficulties. Whatever that is, it's like they're they're really healing it, all right? We have both the Hermit as well as the Four of Swords. These are both cards of healing. Um, and it has to do with, with issues of commitment or with issues of stability, possibly being more, more stable. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, well, that's not too stable. <laughs> it is action though. It definitely is action. Um, so let's see, let's clarify. So let's clarify the Four of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. the Four of Pentacles again, uh, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, whoever it is that is being very stubborn here, it's, it's, it's creating a lot of the challenges. Um, it almost feels like, I don't, I don't know if I want to say selfishness, because I don't feel like it's exactly selfishness. It just feels more of somebody just kind of stuck in what I don't know, either in what they think or just like being stuck in terms of not, I don't know how this is going to make sense, just not cooperating in some way or possibly not, not willing to compromise in whatever area needs to be compromised. 
um, again, even with that Two of Wands, it's like holding back their power. It's like they have the power to do something, but they're not. And again, I don't, I don't know if it's you. I don't, I don't feel like it is because I see you as making like some major decisions here, um, and really standing strong in your power. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, whatever the case, whoever this is, it's, it is creating a lot of challenges. I do feel like they're, whoever that is, they're, they are pushing through these obstacles. Um, but wow, it's like really stubborn energy. Okay, let's, let's see judgment for you. Oh, we have the lovers. Okay, so Gemini energy and justice again. Libra, <laughs> what is going on? Wow. <clears throat> Major decision here concerning love. Um, I feel like you're really, first of all, you're beginning to find your balance, all right? You are really finding your own sense of balance. You're wanting to do what is right. And not only that, you want to also do what is right, but in the most fair way possible. Like you are just like really in your element here. Um, concerning love. I don't know what this decision is that you're trying to make. <clears throat> um, but it's coming through very, very strongly and like it's a very, very big decision. For each of you, it's going to be different. So of course, I'm not going to get any specifics here, but I do get that for some of you. It might even be um, having to choose love or, or not. <laughs> Um, choosing a particular connection, possibly, you know, versus another connection. For some of you, it could even be, you know, deciding whether you want to stay or go. Let's see the Queen of Swords. The Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups. You're, you're standing your ground big time. Um, I feel like you have this new sense of self, self-integrity, self-respect. And if there was anybody that was either manipulating you or just not giving to you, not cooperating in a way that would be fair, um, you're not really going to accept that anymore. I do see that there's still love here. There's still love here for, for a particular person. Um, there's definitely a very strong connection here that you have with somebody, but you're either needing to set boundaries and you are doing that either with this person or with someone else in order to have that, to have this connection. Either way, you're making a big decision. You're standing very strong. You're basically, you know, doing what needs to be done for you. Setting boundaries, just not allowing anybody to, to take advantage of you or influence you in a way that would be contradictory to who you are. Let's see justice. The Page of Wands and the Hermit. For you as well. So we have the Hermit showing up twice. Okay, so that's Virgo's energy showing up twice here. I see you moving towards making this decision in being more open and more enthusiastic about actually um, possibly even in being alone or in, you know, really finding your own self. Um, this decision could also involve you, you know, allowing yourself to go deeper into what it is that you truly want in order to help you to make this decision. And I'm getting here, it's like you're not, you don't have a fear of being alone regardless of what this decision is. It's like you're, you're really learning a lot and you have learned a lot about your own self and about, you know, a new path that you want to take. So, wow, I think this is like the most positive energy I've seen 
in a reading um, for the person that we're doing the reading for um, in a very long time. Like, wow. All right. So let's see what's going on with this other person here. So let's see the hermit. The Four of Cups and the Three of Cups. Okay, so this could be somebody who may have um, entertained other people or have thought about it. Um, if that's the case, they've been left disappointed by that. Um, they, like I said, you know, I feel like maybe they were in some kind of like a self-isolation or just, you know, keeping quiet from you. And there's a lot of disappointments that they have seen, especially in terms of something social here. Um, for some of them, and I feel like this is going to be just for a small group of you, there may have been some kind of a reconciliation after which this person went quiet. Um, again, there's something here that has left them really disappointed. But again, as I said, it's like they're really, they're really working on healing something here, whether they're conscious of that or not. Let's see the Four of Wands. The Fool, okay, so Aries energy showing up. And the Moon, okay, so Scorpio showing up as well. This person has had a lot of fears concerning stability or they've had a lot of fears that have um, affected their sense of stability, possibly in terms of commitment, maybe maybe even in terms of work for some of them um, as it pertains to a particular commitment here or to the commitment with you. And maybe that's where there was some kind of um, lack in that collaboration. Okay, very, very specific message. Again, it's just, that's just going to be for a small group of you. Um, and it's pretty much an, just an example, but there's definitely been some fears, but as I said, it's like they're overcoming them. They're overcoming these fears. It's like there was a fear possibly of the unknown, like maybe having to do things differently than what they've been accustomed to, <clears throat> maybe even on an interpersonal level in terms of the connection. Um, and especially in a way where it relates to commitment or family or being stable and consistent in a particular commitment here. Okay, so let's see that Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles and the Empress. Oh, okay. I feel like this person is really picking up on your energy. <clears throat> and so I feel like they also have a fear that something unexpected might happen on your end. So this might be something that they need to, um, that the, that they need to heal, and I feel like that is what they're moving towards. Um, some kind of an insecurity, and I feel like this five, five of Pentacles, it actually goes back to this Four of Pentacles. Like, they're being stubborn, like they're holding back because there's either a fear of rejection or a fear of being less than, or some kind of a fear of loss, but there's definitely some kind of an insecurity here, which I feel is like the root of whatever is happening, at least on their end. So that is what they are healing. That is what they are healing and in whatever way it relates to you. Um, yeah, I don't know if, you know, some of them might feel like intimidated maybe by you up on a certain level. Um, and this is what needs to be healed because that was creating a lot of inconsistencies. Could be that as well. Um, whatever the case, this person is definitely going deep and working on their fears. <clears throat> and again, you know, that doesn't mean that it's going to happen overnight or, you know, um, all of a sudden this person is just, you know, a brand new person. That doesn't happen. 
but there is something here that is that is healing for them in terms of stability and commitment. All right, so let's see that Knight of Wands for the potential outcome. And we have, ooh, the Magician. The Ace of Cups and Temperance. Okay, Sagittarius. Again, it's like something something is happening here. There's definitely action. I don't see things being like 100% stable just yet, but I do see things moving more towards some kind of a balance, some kind of a healing. I feel like it's really like for you, like you're manifesting so much right now. You're manifesting a different direction. So I don't know if you're going to move away from this, at least temporarily for now. I kind of get that feeling, but then we also have this Ace of Cups, which is telling me that love is still here though. So even if you move away from this connection, there's still love. And I do feel like uh, a big part of this is also self-love, but I'm also getting that it is um, manifesting love <clears throat> into your life, whether it be this person or somebody new. And it's by the action that you're taking, which is stemming from self-love. And so you're manifesting love and a lot of balance and a lot of healing, which I feel like it's also like affecting the other person <clears throat> and moving them towards their own healing as well in the process. So yeah, Libra, wow. Okay. So Libra, if this resonated, let's see. All right, and we have the full moon, surrender to the divine. So the message I'm getting with this is that you have support from the divine, surrender. Surrender to what you know is right. Surrender to what you know is best for you. You know, keep being that queen of swords, you know. Um, maintain your principles of justice because that's that's just going to lead you to, you know, the most beautiful places and the most beautiful outcomes and the divine will be there to support you through it. So that is it Libra. Those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching. Much love.